This is the CBS News Special Report. I'm Anthony Mason in New York. We're about to get an update on Harvey from the president. The storm has been pounding the Texas Gulf Coast since Friday. Officially, two deaths have been confirmed, though we've learned that six family members were also killed when their van was trapped in floodwaters. President Trump has declared a state of emergency in Texas and now as well in Louisiana, making them both eligible for federal disaster relief. Close to 40 inches of rain have fallen in some places with more on the way. Police in Houston have made more than 2,000 water rescues. In a moment, the president will take questions after meeting with the president of Finland. But just moments ago, Mr. Trump spoke in the Oval Office about Harvey. Thank you. I'll be going to Texas tomorrow. I look very much forward to it. Things are being handled really well. The spirit is incredible of the people. Uh, the uh, coordination between all of the different services, as you know, has been going very well. Uh, great respect for the governor. He's done an incredible job. And uh, I look forward to the trip. So I'll be going there tomorrow. We're leaving at about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we don't know exactly which sections. We'll be notifying you soon. But we'll be uh, traveling throughout certain parts. And we may actually go back on Saturday. Depending on where the storm goes, we may also go to Louisiana on Saturday. Are you surprised the magnitude? It's the biggest ever. They're saying it's the biggest. It's historic. Uh, it's like Pitt, really like Texas, if you think about it. But uh, it is a historic amount of water in particular. There's never been anything like it. Uh, so uh, the people are handling it amazingly well. And the people of Texas, as you know, have, have really uh, persevered. And when you watch the spirit and the enthusiasm and helping each other, the teamwork, it's really been something for people to say. I think even in Finland, they would say it's been pretty incredible what they've been able to do. Oh, we have noticed that, yes. Yeah, it's been really it's something. Wonderful. So we'll be, leaving, we'll be leaving tomorrow at about 8.30 in the morning. Will you be doing any special, sir, with cabinet or Congress? Has been well, we've or? done quite a few cabinet meetings to make sure everything's coordinated. Uh, we're dealing with Congress. Uh, as you know, it's going to be a very expensive situation. We want to take care of the people of Texas and Louisiana when that happens and we'll see what happens with the, the flow. The flow seems to be heading toward Louisiana right now as we speak. Uh, but we'll be there for the people of Louisiana also, very much so. So we'll see you tomorrow. And I guess you'll see both of us in a couple of minutes uh, in the East Room. Thank you all very much. President Trump speaking about the impact of Harvey, Harvey in a meeting with Finnish President Sauli Ninosta. Uh, he is speaking further about uh, the impact of, of Harvey in a news conference now. Let's listen in. Very positive meeting, and I want to begin today by extending my thoughts and prayers for those affected by Hurricane Harvey and the catastrophe of flooding and all of the other difficulties that they're currently going through in Houston, in southeast Texas, and now it's looking more and more like the state of Louisiana will be also affected. My administration is coordinating closely with state and local authorities in Texas and Louisiana to save lives, and we thank our first responders and all of those involved in their efforts. We're working directly with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who, by the way, is doing a fantastic job, and his entire staff, likewise, as well as with Governor John Bell Edwards, who's very much uh, involved in starting the process of Louisiana. We've pledged our full support as Texas and Louisiana battle and recover from this very devastating and historic storm. There's probably never been anything like this. Under the supervision of FEMA, Administrator Brock Long, there has been uh, a, a tremendous amount of work done. He has, he has been so outstanding in so many ways. More than 8,500 federal workers are involved in the Texas effort alone. I've also today declared emergencies in Louisiana at the request of Governor Edwards. Recovery will be a long and difficult road, and the federal government stands ready, willing, and able to support that effort. Right now, the single most important thing is the safety and security of those still in harm's way 
including the first responders who have been so terrific and brave. Protecting the lives of our people is my highest priority. Every asset at my command is at the disposal of local officials. Tragic times such as these bring out the best in America's character, strength, charity, and resilience are those characters. We see neighbor helping neighbor, friend helping friend, and stranger helping stranger. And you see that all over. You watch on television, you just see such incredible work and love and teamwork. We are one American family. We hurt together. We struggle together. And believe me, we endure together. We are one family. To the people of Texas and Louisiana, we are 100 percent with you. We're praying for you. We're working closely with your leaders and officials. And I will be visiting the impact zone tomorrow to ensure that you're receiving full support and cooperation from the federal government. And on Saturday, we think we're going back to Texas, and also we will be going to Louisiana. Nothing can defeat the unbreakable spirit of people of Texas and Louisiana. Right now, every American heart sends its love and support to those whose lives have been upended, totally upended, totally, by this very horrible storm. We ask God for His wisdom and strength we will get through this. We will come out stronger. And believe me, we will be bigger, better, stronger than ever before. The rebuilding will begin. And in the end, it will be something very special. And I just want to thank everybody in the affected area, because it has been absolutely incredible to watch the spirit, the cooperation, and the love.